Hi, everyone. Welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. I am so excited that you are here today with me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord has spoken, hallelujah, and the Holy Spirit has revealed. Today is Repentance Prayer Day 10. Repentance Prayer Day 10, hallelujah. I'm just so grateful that we are here at day 10 with a prayer, hallelujah, that is sent forth by the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. This prayer is a focus on God, hallelujah. It's a repentance prayer, hallelujah, first, but then the focus is on God, which is what we should be doing anyway, hallelujah. So this is one of those prayers that's a gateway to getting to know God, to focus on God, to stay in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah. And this is also a prayer to show you how to get there, hallelujah, because some of you are struggling with how to focus on the Lord because you're focusing on so many circumstances around you. I see the word situation. Situations are around you. And I'm telling you right now that the Lord says, stop looking at the situation and look up. Stop looking at the situation and look up. The Lord says that he is going to meet your eye. It will be eye to eye. Hallelujah. He is going to meet your eyes. Hallelujah. He says, look up. Hallelujah. And stop looking at your situation. When you focus on the Lord, you are giving him your attention and attention. Hallelujah. People don't really look at giving somebody uh, attention as uh, powerful. But when you give the Lord your attention, it is absolutely powerful. Hallelujah. Because your attention, hallelujah, meets his power. Your attention, hallelujah, meet his power. He says, stop looking at that situation and look up. Stop looking at that circumstance that you're facing and look up because once your eyes meet his eyes, hallelujah, your attention meets his power, hallelujah. The Lord is so good to us. I'm telling you right now, we shall move forth in this repentance day 10 message from the Lord, hallelujah. We shall move forth in it, hallelujah, as the Holy Spirit shared with me this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you do for our lives. We're gonna go ahead and pray this word forth, hallelujah. Close your eyes and bow your heads for me, please. And join me in this prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Dear Lord God, you are a good God. You are so worthy to be praised. Your efforts, hallelujah, are seamless. What you do for us, seamless. I'm telling you, we cannot do enough unto you to be forgiven for all of our sins. But when we open our mouth and confess what we've done, you said that you will blot out, hallelujah, our transgressions, hallelujah. If we just repent and come unto you and de decree and declare that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, hallelujah. The one who walked in flesh, hallelujah, on this earth and died for our salvation, was crucified, hallelujah, Lord God, died for our salvation. The Lord returned, hallelujah. Three days later, he rose, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is not dead. The Lord is sitting on the throne, hallelujah. He is reigning, hallelujah. And his word is true, hallelujah. I just pray that you move forth in this repentance prayer, day 10, and that you cleanse yourself, hallelujah, by praying and asking the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, asking our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, asking God Almighty, hallelujah, to cleanse you of your sins, hallelujah, the Trinity, to cleanse you of your sins, hallelujah. I pray, hallelujah, that our Lord and Savior pardon your sins today, hallelujah, when you go and confess with a pure intent of heart. I pray that the Lord pardon your sins today and that you join him on this journey that he has established for you and that you do it with joy. Hallelujah. For this is a day the Lord has made and everything that is on your path, you shall be glad in it because those are good things, good plans that the Lord has for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray this word forth, hallelujah. I pray, Holy Spirit, that this word goes out as you have set forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you again for joining today. Again, the Holy Spirit has revealed a mighty word, a mighty message for you. 
This is a repentance prayer, hallelujah, day 10 that we shall do. And this repentance prayer is titled Repentance and Dedication, hallelujah. Repentance and dedication. This is where we are dedicating ourselves to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, dedication in this sense is focusing. We're dedicating our time. We're dedicating our attention. We're dedicating that focus on the Lord. Hallelujah. On the Lord. And today we have that repentance prayer to do so. Hallelujah. We will be reading out of 1 Kings chapter 8. 1 Kings chapter 8, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and go to 1 Kings chapter 8. Again, we will be reading out of 1 Kings chapter 8. Before we start, remember the very first thing you want to do is go on to the Lord and repent of your sins. Repent of every single thing. Remember, this is a daily task. This isn't just a one-time pass. This isn't just when you go to church. This isn't just when you get around um, church members and you want to repent. This is a daily task that you have to take on yourself. Hallelujah. This is a dedication to the Lord that you're doing to cleanse yourself every single day so that your walk can be aligned. You don't want to get off track with the Lord. The Lord has an assignment for you. And a lot of times he's giving you pieces I'm telling you increments of what you're supposed to do. You will do one thing, you complete that, and then he'll tell you the next thing to do. It's in increments, hallelujah. But then along the way, you'll be able to look back and look at all the pieces that he put together, hallelujah, and all the alignment that he did, hallelujah, just through your obedience of step by step. And you'll be able to see a bigger picture, hallelujah, when you look back and see what God did for you, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the first thing you need to do is repent of your sins. Ask the Lord to cleanse you, hallelujah, of your sins. Confess with your mouth, hallelujah. Say it with your mouth, confess, hallelujah. Let the Lord know that you are sincere in your apology, hallelujah, for the sins against them. You are sincere, hallelujah, in those apologies, asking for forgiveness, hallelujah, for the things you have committed against other people, his people, hallelujah, asking for forgiveness for what you dwelled in, the people you dwelled around. I'm telling you, the Lord wants you to confess with your mouth, hallelujah. Now, remember, this is free will. You get to confess with your mouth on your own. This is a blessing to be able to even open our mouths and say anything. I'm telling you right now, it's a blessing. So to be able to open your mouth and ask the Lord for forgiveness, for his mercy, hallelujah, that is a blessing to be able to do. So go ahead and step into your blessing and ask the Lord to forgive you, hallelujah, because the Lord will, the Lord will. He has a helping hand. I'm telling you right now, he will, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will guide you along, hallelujah, on your way. You don't have to know your way. You don't have to know where you're headed. I'm telling you right now, because the Lord knows where you're headed. And as long as you just lift up your hands and grab his, hallelujah, and start walking on your path, hallelujah, every single thing that he tells you to do, you look up, hallelujah, and you just follow along, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, he'll lead you to a greater place. He'll lead you into a good place, hallelujah, because he has good plans for your life. Just look up, hallelujah. Look up, hallelujah. Lift your hands up and look up, hallelujah, and he will lead the way. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. And once you have repented of those sins and you are sincere at heart, hallelujah, the Lord has given, hallelujah, prayers of dedication for us, hallelujah. Out of 1 Kings chapter 8, we're going to start with verse 22, hallelujah. And this is Solomon's prayer, hallelujah. But we can use Solomon's prayer, hallelujah, because it's a prayer of dedication, hallelujah. It's a prayer of dedication, a focus on the Lord, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm reading the uh, New International Version today. And again, it's chapter eight out of 1 Kings, verses 22. And we're going to read all the way through 61. Hallelujah, because there are so many different prayers that you can pray within this uh, within this chapter. I'm telling you right now, that is uh, an amazing thing, hallelujah, to be able to have a chapter where you can go in and you can pull so many different prayers of dedication, hallelujah, to the Lord. All right, and it reads, starting at verse 22. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in front of the whole assembly of Israel, spread out his hands toward heaven and said, 
Lord, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You who keep your covenant of love with your servants who continue wholeheartedly in your way. You have kept your promise to your servant, David, my father. With your mouth, you have promised and with your hand, you have fulfilled it as it is today. Now, Lord, the God of Israel, keep for your servant, David, my father, the promises you made to him when you said you shall never fail to have a successor to sit before me on the throne of Israel. If only your descendants are careful in all they do to walk before me faithfully as you have done. And now, God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant, David, my father, come true. But will God really dwell on earth, the heavens, even the highest heaven can I contain you? How much less this temple I have built? Yet, give attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy, Lord my God. Hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. May your eyes be open toward the temple night and day, the place of which you said, my name shall be there, so that you will hear the prayer your servant prayers, prays toward this place. Hear the supplication of your servant and of your people, Israel, when they pray, when they pray toward this place. Hear from heaven your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. When anyone wrongs their neighbor and is required to take an oath, and they come and swear the oath before your altar in this temple, then hear from heaven and act. Judge between your servants condemning the guilty by bringing down on their heads what they have done in vindicating the innocent by treating them in accordance with their innocence. Well, your people, Israel, have been defeated by an enemy because they have sinned against you. And when they turn back to you and give praise to your name, praying and making supplication to you in this temple, then hit from heaven and forgive the sin of your people, Israel, and bring them back to the land you gave them, gave to their ancestors. When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because your people have sinned against you. And when they pray toward this place and give praise to your name and turn from their sin because you have afflicted them, then hear from heaven and forgive the sins of your servants, your people, Israel. Teach them the right way to live and send rain on the land you gave your people for an inheritance. When famine or plague comes to the land or blight or mildew, locusts or grasshoppers, or when an enemy besieges them in any of their cities, whatever disaster or disease may come. And when a prayer or plea is made by anyone among your people, Israel, being aware of the afflictions of their own hearts and spreading out their hands toward the temple, then hear from heaven, your dwelling place. Forgive and act. Forgive and act. Deal with everyone according to all they do, since you know their hearts for you alone know every human heart so that they will fear you all the time they live in the land you gave our ancestors. As for the foreigner who does not belong to your people, Israel, but has come from a distant land because of your name, for they will hear of your great name and your mighty hand and your outstretched arm when they come and pray toward this temple. Then hear from heaven your dwelling place. Do whatever the foreigner asks you, ask of you, so that all the peoples of the earth may know your name and fear you as do your own peoples, people, Israel, and may know that this house I built bears your name. When your people go to war against their enemies, wherever you send them, and when they pray to the Lord toward the city you have chosen and the temple I have built for your name, then hear from heaven their prayer and their plea and uphold their cause. When they sin against you, for there is no one who does not sin, and you become angry with them and give them over to their enemies who take them captive to their own lands far away or near. And if they have a change of heart in the land where they are held captive and repent and plead, hallelujah, repent and plead, with you in the land of their captors and say, we have sinned, we have done wrong, we have acted wickedly. And if they turn back to you with all their heart and soul in the land of their enemies who took them captive and prayed to you toward the land you gave their ancestors, toward the city you have chosen and, and the temple I have built for your name, then from heaven, your dwelling place, hear their prayer 
in their plea and uphold their cause. And forgive your people who have sinned against you. Forgive all the offenses they have committed against you and cause their captors to show them mercy for they are your people in your inheritance whom you brought out of Egypt, out of that iron smelt, smelting furnace. May your eyes be open to your servant's plea and to the plea of your people, Israel. And may you listen to them whenever they cry out to you, for you signal them out, of, out from all the nations of the world to be your own inheritance, just as you declare through your servant Moses when you, saw, when you, sovereign Lord, brought our ancestors out of Egypt. When Solomon had finished all these prayers of and supplications to the Lord, he rose from before the altar of the Lord, where he had been kneeling with his hands spread out toward heaven. He stood and blessed the whole assembly of Israel in a loud voice saying, praise, the Lord, praise be to the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel, just as he promised. Not one word has failed, hallelujah. Not one word has failed of all the good promises he gave through his servant Moses. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our ancestors. May he never leave us nor forsake us. May he turn our hearts to him to walk in obedience to him and keep the commandments, decrees, and laws he gave our ancestors. Hallelujah. And may these words of mine, which I have prayed before the Lord, be near to the Lord, our God, day and night, that he might uphold, hallelujah, that he may uphold the cause of his servant and the cause of his people Israel according to each day's need, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the Lord is God and that there is no other. And may our hearts be fully committed to the Lord our God to live by his decrees and obey his commands as at this time. Hallelujah. There are many prayers, hallelujah, within that chapter. And it is so good to see that even Solomon, hallelujah, a man of God knew how to approach God, hallelujah, kneeling with his hands up. I'm telling you right now, there is a way to approach God, hallelujah. And even in this, hallelujah, he shared this prayer, hallelujah, for God to hear the prayers, hallelujah, of the sinners, those who approach and those who pray towards the temple, those who are hearkening their hearts to God, hallelujah, and want forgiveness of their sins. That is a repentance prayer, hallelujah. And he's praying that the Lord hears their prayer, hallelujah. And today I pray, hallelujah, those of you who are repenting of your sins, you know the things that you have done and you've confessed with your mouth. I pray that the Lord, hallelujah, hears your prayers, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, pardon you from the sins that you've committed, hallelujah, from the sins that you've committed, hallelujah, for the Lord is a good God, hallelujah. The Lord is a good God, hallelujah. Solomon was a mighty man, hallelujah. He was king, hallelujah. He was a mighty man, hallelujah. He believed in the Lord, hallelujah. And that temple was built, hallelujah, because Solomon, hallelujah, he was chosen to build that temple, hallelujah. And there were actually workers building that temple, let me tell you. He was king, hallelujah. When you have a place for the Lord, when you have been obedient, when you have been faithful, when you have established that place, hallelujah, I'm pretty sure many of you have that altar in your house. And if you don't have the altar in your house, establish one, hallelujah, so, so that that is the place, hallelujah, where you go, hallelujah, for the Lord to hear your prayers, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, that secret place, hallelujah, go therein, hallelujah. Pray to the Lord, hallelujah, so that the Lord can hear your prayers, hallelujah. I'm not saying that if you're out and about that the Lord doesn't hear your prayer, hallelujah, but I am telling you that there are established places that the Lord, hallelujah, will hear your prayers, hallelujah. When you go to church, that is a, an established place, hallelujah. And as long as you have that upright leader, hallelujah, that is an established place, hallelujah, for the Lord to hear your prayers. Solomon, hallelujah, was an upright leader because the Lord heard his prayer. And the great thing about Solomon is that Solomon knew how to pray. <laughs> Solomon knew how to pray. Solomon brought up the promises of the Lord, hallelujah, which is what you can do once you return, but releasing them, confessing with your mouth that you did it. Yep, you did it. I'm telling you right now that the Lord will cover you. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will pardon you. He will pardon you. 
and you can begin your walk with the Lord following his decrees and his commands, his statutes. You can walk with the Lord being obedient. Hallelujah. And watch the good things that fall onto you from the Lord because you are obedient. You are faithful. You believe. Hallelujah. And you entered into the place of prayer. Hallelujah. With a pure heart. Hallelujah. With a sincere heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With a truthful heart. Hallelujah. Now we know that some people have blemishes on their heart, in their heart. And that's why we repent. Because we need to ask the Lord to forgive us and to cleanse us, to blot out those transgressions. Hallelujah. To blot them out. That way, every day when we are repenting of our sins, repenting of things we've done and things we don't know we've done, we are clearing the way on our path so that we can follow the Lord, we can hear him clearly, and we can go the way that he has established us to go. That's just it. So this is a daily repentance prayer, hallelujah, that we have to do. But the Lord has given us 21 days of repentance prayers because there are different ones that we can use on our path, hallelujah, at our time of need. Depending on your need, that will determine the type of repentance prayer you need, hallelujah, to get you along your way. Because this is a journey, hallelujah. This is a walk with God, hallelujah. And repentance is a part of it. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and get to the message from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So these prayers are composed of many prayers and dedicating to the Lord. Hallelujah. It is in a blessing to the whole assembly of Israel. Hallelujah. And the whole assembly is regarding the entire community or ones gathered. Hallelujah. And thus says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Fear not as angels are all around you, ready to lend a hand as I have assigned them. They have been given specific details about you to do the will of God. But first, there is your part. Pray unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Seek me and you shall find me sitting on the throne. The heavens cannot contain me, for I am God who establishes a heaven, a city just for you. Many territories I have sent your way lie dormant as you have not taken the first step to gaining the territories. Keys are lying all around you. Keys to new beginnings, new prayer, prayer lives, new friendships, new partnerships, new land, new buildings, hallelujah, new beliefs, hallelujah, new dimensions, new heights, new views. And in views, meaning scenery, new views. And new perspectives. God is pouring a new thing on you. Open up and receive. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit revealed repentance is an action that should start your day. It should be present throughout your day as well as end your day. This means be mindful of your actions always and ask for forgiveness. God's mercy when you need it. Hallelujah. Ask for forgiveness, which is God's mercy when you need it. Dedicate yourself to the Lord and he will hear you and dedicate himself to you. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you for he is calling on you. He's rooting for you. Hallelujah. He wants you to win this race. Hallelujah. Be well, my child. Hallelujah. And then the Lord wants me again to remind you of what being well means. The Lord has spoken. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go ahead and be obedient and remind you when the Lord says, be well, my child, what that means. So when the Lord is telling you to be well, this is what the Lord is saying. Be well, my child. Well is not being, is not just being healthy. Being well is staying in the presence of Christ Jesus, our provider, way maker, healer, deliverer, redeemer, chief cornerstone, the one who battles for us. Know your Lord and Savior, Savior and be well knowing his spirit also resides in you. That's what being well means. Hallelujah. He wanted me to remind you of what being well means when he says it. Hallelujah. It's not just being healthy. Hallelujah. But it is all these things. Being well is staying in the presence of Christ Jesus, our provider, our way maker, our healer, our deliverer, our redeemer, our chief cornerstone, the one who battles for us. Hallelujah. 
He said, being well is knowing your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. And being well, knowing his spirit also resides in you. That is a, a full present of being well. Hallelujah. A gift of being well. Hallelujah. And he says, be well, my child. Hallelujah. Which means you shall. Hallelujah. Accept it. Receive it. Be well. Hallelujah. And you shall. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just pray right now, hallelujah, that this word goes forth and that this is a reminder to you to repent every single day. Hallelujah. This is a Solomon's prayer. Hallelujah. This is a Solomon's prayer. Hallelujah. For repentance day 10. Hallelujah. And the title of this prayer, remember, is repent. Hallelujah. It's repentance and dedication. Repentance and dedication. Hallelujah. For days and close your eyes. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for this message, hallelujah. Thank you for the Solomon prayers, God, hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness, grace, and mercy, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for you are a good God and worthy, hallelujah. Thank you for all the things that you do, God, hallelujah, for you are mighty God. Hallelujah to the Solomon prayers, God, hallelujah, for the establishment of these prayers that we can utilize in our lives, God. Thank you for the repentance, hallelujah, and thank you for establishing in us, hallelujah, places where we can go, God, hallelujah, and hear from you, hallelujah, Lord God. There are holy places also established on this earth where we can go, hallelujah, and our prayers will be heard, God, hallelujah, and we just thank you for that, God. We just thank you for who you are. We just thank you for who you are, God, and how you go ahead of us and make a way, hallelujah. The heavens can't hold you, God, neither can earth, hallelujah, but you have established places, hallelujah, where when we pray, God, and when we reach out to you, God, when we lift our hands, hallelujah, when we fall to our knees, God, God, hallelujah. And these established places, hallelujah. These holy places, God, hallelujah. You hear our prayers. And we're ever so grateful that you do, Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord God. We pray that you go ahead, hallelujah, of us and establish the way. Thank you for assigning these prayers, God. Thank you for assigning these prayers to an assigned time, God. Hallelujah. That we can go back into our arsenal, God. Hallelujah. And look for these repentance prayers. Hallelujah. 21 days of repentance prayers. Hallelujah. And find the one for our needs, for our circumstances, God. And get on our knees and repent for our sins, for that particular thing, God. Hallelujah. And then we just go right in. Hallelujah. For those blessings, God. We go right in. Hallelujah. For the intercessory, God. We go right in. Hallelujah. For for that dedication, God, whatever the circumstance is, we have the tools that we need right now with the repentance prayers, hallelujah, to do just that. And I'm so grateful, God, hallelujah, that you're going ahead of us, ahead of us on our path. You're establishing the way, God, and we're just an ever so grateful, hallelujah. Lord God, I pray that this prayer is a blessing to every single person that hears, hallelujah, that they go out into the land and they too, hallelujah, spread the word of repentance, God, that they let everybody know, hallelujah, that there's a place that they can go, an established place, some holy grounds, hallelujah, that they can go visit, hallelujah, where their prayers will be heard, hallelujah. And I just pray that they start directing the people, hallelujah, to these established places. They just start directing them, Lord God, hallelujah, to establish churches with upright leaders, hallelujah, letting them know, hey, you can go here and repent. You can go here, hallelujah. The Lord will hear your prayers, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, especially ones who are not established in the Lord, and they just need some help, hallelujah. They, they know they love the Lord, but they don't know how to reach him, hallelujah. They don't know what to pray, hallelujah. I just pray that they know God, hallelujah, for the guidance of the people, that those who are standing, hallelujah, in between, hallelujah, go ahead and guide the people, that those who are meeting these people on the street, and they see that they are yearning for the Lord, but they just don't know how to reach them. That they go ahead and guide them into that holy place. Hallelujah. For you have spoken, Lord God. Hallelujah. It is written, we shall be well. Hallelujah. And we shall ensure, hallelujah, anyone that we encounter are also real in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this prayer is sealed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you again for joining me today. This is Repentance Prayer Day 10. Hallelujah. This is Repentance and dedication, hallelujah, day 10, and I just pray that it is a blessing to you in your household, all right guys, until next time, peace, peace and blessings, hallelujah.